Thanks so much, Sachin. Hi, folks. I'm Kelly Coleffel with Fivetran. The future is really exciting for data engineering, especially if you're using Fivetran and Databricks together. No matter your industry, your organization size, data programs today face the same challenge. There's a never ending backlog. The entire flow, design, build, test, automate, document, maintain, refactor, that can get broken, eaten up a lot of time. The longer data products take to build, the more irrelevant you and your sponsoring executive become. And if you've ever found yourself in that, give me one more sprint, hey, I need, I need two more weeks cycle, it becomes really tough. Fivetran helps you eliminate this data chaos that you just saw and puts an end to this one more sprint. Give me one more sprint syndrome. We were founded in 2012. Think of us as a late stage venture backed company. We serve 6,000 plus customers all across the globe, every single industry. And Fivetran has a really simple mission. We provide fully automated, reliable, secure data movement to the Databricks data intelligence platform. We do that as reliably as flipping on your lights for electricity. And I, I think about it, me personally, I think about it as Fivetran also delivers optionality with predictability. If I'm an enterprise, I want predictable data pipelines. Any source, all sources, any destination, all destinations within the Databricks context, any and all transformations, and any and all deployment types. So I've been at Data and AI Summit the last couple of years. Uh, Ali actually came on our podcast uh, recently. This is one of the uh, quotes that he had, which I love. The one that is stuck on, in my mind anyway, on repeat is he said, your AI built on your data is what is going to differentiate you. And I couldn't, couldn't agree more. So I talked about optionality with predictability a little bit earlier. There's one option that I want to, cons I, I'd love for you to consider here. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to demo to you here in just a little while, Fivetran, Pinecone, and Databricks working together in a generative AI application. So think, I've got a Fivetran uh, data platform, automated data, data platform that's moving 600, almost 700 sources, uh, any source into the Databricks data intelligence platform. I've got that, that platform there, any data workload within Databricks, any use case, I've got to have one thing, trusted, high quality, usable data moving in. And then Pinecone gives you this really cool, fast, real-time search for AI powered apps. And this is what we're gonna to build today in this, uh, in this short uh, demo, an enterprise QBR generator. Every single company has sales. I, I can't think of too many that don't. I mean, it's literally almost every single one. And they rely on quarterly business reviews to track customers, track teams, track individual progress. This happens month after month, quarter after quarter, year after year. I, I somehow survived 40 QBRs uh, at Oracle over a 10 year period. I don't know how, those were, those were rough. Uh, I'm gonna show you today a Gen AI powered enterprise QBR generator built with Fivetran, Pinecone, and Databricks. It's gonna tackle the two most important challenges for, for quarterly business reviews. Hey, I need a consistent, reliable QBR presentation for management that's standardized and, and predictable. And this takes so much time. Help me eliminate the time intensive prep process for your account executives and sales teams. This is a high level flow for today's demo. Honestly, this is, this is applicable to really any use case that you might have uh, in this Gen AI space today. So every data source moves into Databricks with Fivetran. Today, I'm gonna combine sales data, support data, and product data three different uh, data sources together in Databricks into a Databricks Unity catalog. Uh, that'll be persisted in Delta format, obviously open table format. We're gonna use Databricks to transform it, make it, think about Pinecone ready, LLM ready, embedding search index friendly ready, that type thing. And then we'll use uh, Pinecone in a Databricks notebook to create these embeddings, create the search index, make those Pinecone calls, and finally build this QBR generator in Databricks apps. If you haven't seen Databricks apps, really cool. 
We'll be using Unity Catalog queries, uh, Databricks serving endpoint calls, and similarity search from Pinecone. So it's demo time. Uh, let's roll it right now. All right, so this is Fivetran. 680 connectors that you have out of the box covering all really all the different source categories. Think databases, application systems, file systems, event systems. Uh, almost anything you can conceive of from a source perspective, Fivetran has that in the catalog. In fact, if you need to, to run your data within your own environment, within your own VPC, we have hybrid deployment to do it like that as well. So really, again, going back to what I talked about, predictability, standardization with all these options, but if you don't see something that you need in the catalog, you've got a light connector option, we'll build it for you. You can also build it yourself with the connector SDK. I, just a ton of options, even if you don't see something in that almost 700 connector catalog. So what we're gonna do today is set up uh, multiple connectors. I'm gonna use Databricks Unity Catalog Serverless Destination. I've got a range of destinations that I can move data into, that I can plug Databricks directly into. And today I'm gonna name this particular schema for Salesforce Accelerate QBRs. We're gonna be using three data sources, Salesforce, Zendesk, and Jira, because we're gonna combine our sales data, our product data, and our support data up into something that we can build this QBR generator from. So uh, Fivetran's gonna let me select exactly the data set that I want here. I'm gonna pick a couple of tables that are required for this particular application, account, opportunity, lead. I could take the entire uh, Salesforce data set if I want to, or I can specify. I can even use filters if I'd like to, and I can hash any PII columns that I have. So let's save this. Fivetran's gonna set you up for incremental sync automatically. I can even kick off a quick start data model right now if I want to. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do my modeling in Databricks directly. Start that initial sync. So Salesforce, that quickly, we've got Salesforce data moving into the Databricks data intelligence platform. Second connector I want is support data coming out of Zendesk. And you'll see a very similar process flow here. I'm gonna move it into that Databricks Unity catalog again. Call it uh, very similar, Accelerate QBRs uh, Zendesk, provide the domain. Here also I can, I can provide a historical sync limit if I'd like to. So I'll, I'll set a limit. I don't need everything within uh, Zendesk for this particular application. Uh, authorize at uh, Zendesk uh, API, make sure that I can authenticate, save and test. And I'm really off to the races. Again, I get presented. If there's a quick start data model, uh, I can use that and I'm gonna start syncing. So we're now syncing Salesforce to Databricks. We're now syncing Zendesk to Databricks, but I need another data set. I want product data coming out of Jira. So we have a Jira connector as well. Name it very similar, Accelerate QBRs. Jira, provide uh, a host, a port, uh, let uh, the Jira API know, or Fivetran and the Jira API know how I want to authenticate. And uh, this connector, again, another application-based connector, very, very similar to what you've seen in the past. Each API is gonna be a little bit different in terms of how you can interact with it. Fivetran uh, makes those designations and makes sure that we do it according to the, the, the way that the API has been structured. So we now have three connectors that are moving data into Databricks that fast. We've got Salesforce, we've got Zendesk, and we've got Jira. And these aren't massive data sets. In fact, I'm gonna go out to my Unity catalog now, which is TS catalog demo. I will refresh my uh, Databricks workspace and you should see these. Yep, there's one, uh, Accelerate QBRs Jira showing up there. There's all the tables that I took. Uh, I've also got my Salesforce data with those three tables, account, lead, and opportunity. And I've got my Zendesk data as well. What I had done uh, is I had combined this up into uh, Accelerate QBR sales, and that's really the data set that I'm gonna work from today. So I'm gonna jump out into a Databricks notebook. This is structured data. I'm gonna use a concat function with a simple prefix before every value, before every uh, column, because what I wanna do is make this data set uh, embedding friendly and LLM friendly. And so this is basically gonna turn structured data into an unstructured format. 
in this step, I'm going to initialize the Pinecone client. I'm going to call Pinecone so that I can do my uh, embeddings, create that search index with Pinecone. And you see here, uh, now these embeddings are going to be created in step eight. I ran this a little bit earlier to, uh, to have it done, but this, this whole notebook does not take much time at all. I also created a metadata column in that transformation. I didn't talk about that, but uh, uh, Pinecone likes to have this in a JSON uh, formatted style. Also, I created 100 record batches. This isn't a massive data set. It's, uh, I don't know, seven, 800. And I, I'm out in Pinecone now, and you can see as I jump out here that the record counts 835. I just like to double check that, but uh, I've also got a check there in my Databricks notebook. So we're ready. Let's go build a Databricks application. If you haven't checked this out, go to compute or go up to new on the upper left. And I've got five options. I'm going to use Streamlit. I want to build a custom application. I want to show you something uh, here real quick uh, as, as we look at this. Um, I'd like to set up my resources uh, ahead of time within the Databricks application. You notice I've got four resources set up. I've got a, uh, I've got a warehouse. I've got a serving endpoint for my llama model and i've got two secrets databricks for every app as well provides you a sync script and a deploy script to make this super easy you just got to copy and paste those and then i i built my app in uh, vs code and so i'm going to jump out to vs code here and i want to show you what that looks like and we'll go ahead and sync the app and deploy the app directly to databricks before I do that, let me show you the serving endpoints that are available. Databricks has got a significant amount of LLMs built into the platform. And you can see some of them up there. But if I want to uh, incorporate, I don't know, let's say uh, OpenAI or Anthropics Cloud or maybe Amazon Bedrock, I can take an external model provider and provide the credentials to include that serving endpoint into my Databricks serving endpoint portfolio. So that's available for any application that I want to call uh, that endpoint from. So this is what I have available right now. I want to now go back out to uh, or go out to VS Code. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm not going to spend too much time here. Really, really important when you're building these Gen AI applications, get the prompt right. I, I spend a lot of time here uh, locking this down, making sure that the prompt is going to get what we want when we're trying to get an outcome uh, from a Gen AI application standpoint. Um, Reach out to me too. I'm happy to provide uh, this code base. I'll probably get it out on a public Git repo here soon. I got a couple of things I still want to do to it, but uh, you can see I'm calling a the Databricks serving endpoint. I'm actually using the Llama 405B uh, model here uh, within Databricks. That's one of the foundational models that's that's available within the Databricks portfolio. You'll also see in the app I've got some health metrics that we're calling uh, right out of, uh, we're just making a uh, Unity catalog query and uh, we're calling health score, contract value, CSAT score and, and active users. Um, so here, we're gonna sync this repo now with Databricks. This is all hosted within Databricks, really cool. So I'm developing locally, hosting within Databricks. That's the deploy command. And you can see the source code is getting prepared. There's a couple of other things that will happen. And then, uh, Depending on if this is the first time you've uh, synced this repo and deployed this repo, it may take a little bit longer. Uh, I've done this one a couple of times and it's actually pretty quick and you can see that nice state succeeded there. There's my URL within Databricks. I can see that this data app is running. And now here's my Databricks data app, Streamlit running. There's my enterprise QBR generator. Of course, I've got a, uh, uh, kind of a control record in there, Colefl. Let's generate a QBR based on Colefl. A standard QBR, I can have multiple options there, and I want a sales view on this QBR. So there's my account health summary, revenue and expansion opportunities, all types of things. Remember, th this is such a challenge. This can take hours. I would say for a QBR to be prepared by uh, an AE, five to six hours easily. Not to mention uh, a sales manager parsing through to make sure that, you know, data is accurate, things aren't being made up. This is coming from Salesforce, Zendesk, and Jira. It's 
active live data sitting in the Databricks data intelligence platform that Fivetran moved in. And I've got a high degree of trust in this data as we're going through. And you can see some of the historical uh, QBR uh, sets that uh, we ran there, these different types of, of QBRs, technical deep dive, maybe the SE management wants to take a look at that. Maybe the customer service management wants to take a look at the customer success view, et cetera. So it's a simple application but something that I think you can apply across a lot of different areas within, uh, within, your, within a Gen AI space. And for this, you notice as I, as I change companies, my health score updates, my contract value updates, all those key metrics. And then I can generate a QBR for, in this case, asset analytics and you know, find, out what, uh, find out any detail that I want there for asset analytics. So, all of this, again, is being driven by those data sources that you're getting delivered into Databricks reliably, uh, quickly, a very, very high trust model. That data is immediately usable in a bronze layer, and we move that into a usable gold layer, both for Pinecone and the Databricks serving endpoints. All right, that was fun. We used Gen AI to create consistent, reliable QBR presentations for management and for AEs. And we also were able to show how you can look at eliminating time intensive. Oh, I, I don't wanna have to do QBRs the old way anymore. Time intensive process for account executives. So these are, I believe, estimated results and impact. These don't, don't take these to the bank, but this is, if you had a hundred person sales organization, that's not huge. Uh, these are some of the savings results and impact uh, and productivity impact and revenue impact that you can expect. So uh, take a look at those, apply it to your own organization. I'd love to hear some of your stories and, uh, and results coming back. So you, you look at the QBR generator that same approach that we used, what I showed you in the demo, really you can apply it to almost any horizontal application, marketing or supply chain. You can also apply it to a range of vertical industries, really any vertical industry. And what I wanted to do was give you some ideas and thoughts on uh, potential use cases where you could say, yeah, actually that QBR generator, I don't exactly have that challenge, but this is one I keep hearing, pick it out, Take a look and uh, try to use that same pattern. Uh, and there's many other patterns as well, but uh, hopefully this will give you some ideas. All right, I would ask you to consider two things. Uh, I would love for you to give Fivetran a spin. We have a 14 day free trial. Actually, you can execute that 14 day free trial directly from the Databricks Marketplace if you like. So you can do that as well. You can go to gofivetran.com or just go to Databricks Marketplace, say, hey, give me Fivetran, voila, everything's set up for you. Second thing I'd like for you to do is uh, register. If you said, hey, this is pretty cool. I'd like to try this out and learn how to apply this in my own environment uh, or for my own application. We have a hands-on lab coming up Thursday, March 13th. Scan that QR code, register for that lab, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. We'll, we'll, uh, it'll be a little bit longer than this today, but uh, should be a good time. Bring your laptop, get your fingers ready to go. That's it for me. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, back over to you, Sachin.